Okay, everybody, super quick one here. I gotta leave for work real quick, but, um, so I don't have time to make a proper video on this, but uh, there was an exploit discovered in the new Valentine's update that sucks and is terrible in Abyssrium. Um, and the trick basically is, uh, dang, I shouldn't have started recording in mobile mode. I'm so sorry. Mo mo mobile mode is bad mode. Um, so yeah, basically you just send out your platypus in New York and, um, you know, whatever your time zone is, change your location to Sydney, Australia, or, you know, whatever thing. And then open the app, collect your award back and forth, back and forth, and you'll get all the stuff in one day. Um, and somebody, somebody had an issue, and so if you just, um, you can change, um, actually, I think if you load your cloud save, I think it just resets the, um, the thing, but somebody says... Um, send it to Kiramati, Kira, Kiribati, and it'll reset it without waiting 28 hours. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, you just change, mess with the clock settings, and I strongly recommend you do this. I don't usually advocate cheating, but I mean, this is not, this is not a hack or anything. This is just, you know, mess with the settings on your device. This is something that they should have accounted for and didn't, and considering how awful and player hostile this event is, uh, they totally deserve everyone to do this. So what they said was they didn't want people to complete the event in one day. So what I want everyone to do is show show them that that is actually easier for everyone to complete this one in one day. Um, so I don't advocate playing the game at all at this point, but if you are gonna play the game, uh, do this. D don't give them a single dollar. Don't watch a single ad. Um, just get your freaking all of those cool fish. Um, I'll do this tonight. I'll make a proper video showing you how to do it and how not to mess up, hopefully. Um, don't have time for that now. Um, but why my attitude may be a little sour. In addition to the bad stuff they did already, um, they actually posted on Facebook um, that, oh, hey, delete your account if, you're, if you don't like our thing. Um, what we're going to say... Sorry, not that guy. Um, they said, oh, hey... You're so rude that you can delete the game if you do not like it. Bleh. And somebody said, okay, see, he said the F word. So here's the thing. When you make an app that millions of people use and that people have spent millions of dollars on, some people have spent over $300 in this game. Um, and that's not even counting, like, infinite purchases. You can have infinite spend in this game. Um, this, is, this is, like, a major thing here. This is not, like, silly, happy, fun game that doesn't matter. This is a multi-million dollar business, and they have a community manager here telling people to go fuck off and delete their game. Um, because, like, here's the thing. Like, being rude, being rude is a shame. But what Abyssrium has done here is punch players in the gut. And then players say, hey, screw you, man. And they're like, whoa, you, I punched you in the gut and you gone done didn't been rude to me, boy. How dare you. And not, not, language barrier is not an excuse here. This is just prickish behavior. Um, so what I did was I left, uh, I left a little comment. I, I recommend, um, if you want them to see the comment, I recommend leaving a reaction here. Um, you can, uh, leave a like or leave a comment that agrees or, you know, leave your own comment. You know, it doesn't have to, you don't have to boost my comment, but they, they need to know this is bullcrap and th they're not going to get away with it. Um. They, I've said for a long, long time they need to hire a community manager that is not a jerk. Uh, they clearly don't respect their players. Um, the slow rollouts have been a huge pain in the butt for players for forever. People are confused. Every single event, every single video I post on an event has 50 people. They're like, I don't have the event yet, and I, I'm so sorry. But I have just lost any drive to reply individually and be like, there's a slow rollout, blah, blah, blah. I have answered that question several hundred times, and I'm exhausted um they never explain that when they post events they never tell us when events are going to end they never tell us when events are going to start they just hit the store and they're there uh i always tell people to not even bother following their account because they don't really post any information on there they'll post like a video of a random fish before the event comes out and then the event will come out and they will post nothing of any stumpsons and <laughs> They, they need a community team that A, respects players. That's the most important thing. Um, language aside, th th whoever runs their stuff does not respect players. They ignore bug bug reports. Um, th they, they just leave people on red. 
uh, when people DM them stuff. Uh, they're just extremely rude. Um, yes, they did decide they're gonna leave. They're just not gonna. They're gonna stop the deleting the candies thing. So there is one minor change in this event. So they won't delete the candies. Um, but here's the thing. Like I said, this event already makes candies useless. Um, that was just kind of the final slap in the face. Except there were additional slaps in the face after that. It's not really final, but it was a it was a big unnecessary one. Uh, but this event is still zero fun even without um, getting the candy deleted. The candy is basically already useless. Um, you can't have fun in this event. This event is designed to not have fun. Like I said before, literally this entire event is send out the platypus, tap two buttons, wait three hours, and pray the game gives you something. And it will probably not give you something of value. And that's, that's the whole event. It's waiting three hours for the game to spit in your face and push you into a puddle. That's... That's not fun. That that does not excuse this amount of rudeness. And like I said, I always, even the first video I said, you should give them feedback, you should be polite, but you know what? When you're a community manager, you have to deal with some rude people and you can't just scream back at them. That is not community management. Uh, that's why like when EA Games was calling people armchair developers for complaining about the loot boxes. Uh, they got in big trouble for that because that is, even though that's more polite than Abyssrium has been kind of, um, you can't do that. You got to be the bigger person because, I mean, you are representing a huge company. And like I said, these people get millions of dollars for this game. There's over, f there's between 5 and 10 million installs on Android alone. Um, at least as many on iOS. Um, a lot of people buy stuff in the game. Uh, this is a multi-million dollar business, easily. Um, they're owned by a major publisher, Cheetah Mobile. They can afford a single person that speaks English. They can afford somebody who's not a jerk. Um, I don't necessarily care if those are the same person, uh, but they need at least one of those two people, uh, preferably the one that's not a jerk. That's right, Parker. So, this is really unacceptable. Um, I've, I've stopped playing the game as, as a player. I'll, I'll continue the guide, but I have no desire to play this game and or watch ads or support the developers in any way, shape, or form. And I, I'm kind of reluctant. Why is your tail wet? Why is your tail wet? Um, I, I kind of don't even want to do the videos because I've always known that the developers benefit more than I do from all of my videos and stuff. You know, very few people donate to my patron, very few people watch the ads, but, you know, a lot of people buy the $100 mermaid and crap in the game. Yeah. And I don't even have a $100 in-app purchase. Sucks to be me. Isn't that right, Parker? Yeah. Anyway. That's, that's, blech. But yeah, please, please exploit this event. Please show them that, no, their attempt to trick us into spending lots of money didn't work. Um, if you're not willing to exploit the event and get all the things in one day, that's your choice. But please don't give them money to, to speed it up. If you want to suffer through it slowly, uh, I think there's no moral fiber to be found in that. That's just stupid, frankly. Uh, sorry to say that, but doing things the right way isn't always actually the right way. Sometimes you got to take a stand. Sometimes you got to show somebody that, hey, being a jerk doesn't work. And uh, people just react to that. Like I said, be polite if you comment on their Facebook, um, not because of their, you know, not, not because of their feelings, but just because it's the right thing to do. I don't, I don't care about their feelings at this point. Um, but yeah, just, yeah. Wow. What a, what a, what a train ride. I, I can't wait to not be making videos on this terrible event. I want them to just end it, just end it. Give everybody the things and just delete it. Valentine's Day is a gift, not an event. Everyone gets the things. Everyone can shut up about it. That's what I would do if I were in their position. I'd be like, you know what? We, we quit. We concede. But obviously that, that won't happen. Anyway, have what little fun you can with this terrible event. Uh, exploit the crap out of it and enjoy the Mimic Octopus. I am excited for the Mimic Octopus. The one good thing about this event. See y'all later.